Hi friends, first start with downloading MySQL and install it. Second is the Anaconda environment which can download and install it. Third is the connection between MySQL and our Python. So, we will be using MySQL connector or MySQL client for this and uh, these three are video tutorials are available. You can watch them and understand how to prepare this platform and we will further move in writing our queries and handling the data. We will display 10 records from sample student table in a tick enter window using this platform. Let us paste our basic window code here. We will uh, import some other stuff. So, let us import that from tick enter import all. First, we will start with connecting to our MySQL database. So, for that we will use SQL Kemi. So, let me use that from SQL SQL Kemi import create engine. Now, let me declare a connection string as my connection. Now, create engine let me say mysql plus mysql db. Now, I will give my user id and password. So, user id is my root, password is test. Now, where I am connected? I am connected to my local host and inside the local host, I have, I have my tutorial as my db. That's all. This should uh, be established the connection. I can do one thing. I can run it once and see if there is no error. Fine. There is no error. Hopefully, I am connected to my MySQL database. Now, let's go and create a record set. Let me give it the name as R set. R set is equal to my connection. Just at the top line, we have declared it the connection string. Execute. What will execute? We'll execute a query telling that select all all the columns I am selecting. So, I am giving a st star select from student. Student is my sample table. We will put a limit. We do not want all the there are around 40 plus records are there. We want first 10 records. So, I used a limit. You will get all the this queries how to use a limit and all limit and connect to the Python. All this stuff is available in our uh, different sections. You can read our MySQL section also how to install and use it. Now, let me create one row here. Uh, this will decide my number of rows. We will see why we are declared it here. Now, let us go for student in R set. Student is a variable here for my record set. I am using looping through all the uh, the record sets whatever I am getting from the table. So, here I am again telling for j, j is another variable range, this is len student. Now, each student rows or each record will have different columns. So, I am telling how many columns are there. So, this len will say based on my there are 5 uh, columns are there. So, it will st start from j in range l means len will be telling me 5. So, j in 5. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that it will it will uh, the inner loop the inner for loop will execute. Let me now declare the entry e entry. Now, entry is my I am using entry as my um, inside the loop as entry widget. So, where the data will be displayed. So, parent window my w. Now, let me give the width as 10 then slightly font I am also giving as blue. You you can change it to any color you want. Now, let us say I will put it on a grid here. The grid is row is equal to I will give i. I have declared it here i is equal to 0. So, it will i in first execution this will take the value of i as 0. So, the first row and column I will give as j. So, j is you can see here j takes the value from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like it, it will take the values based on the uh, number of columns I have and every time it will reset also. So, now I will say that e dot insert end 
this is the insert method of a entry so i can insert the data now what is the data student j j will vary from 0 1 2 3 4 so what happens each time one column next column next column then next row then i will reset so again this way it will come let me just but here after the one loop is completed i will increment the i by one now that's all should end my program here that much let me just check it once how it works uh, you can see that all the records are displayed we'll try now to uh, try now to change the look and feel or the borders everything from here